Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to be shooting a what I eat in a day video and this is what I eat in a day when I'm trying to be healthy and I currently am trying to lose a little bit of weight that I had put on after our wedding. So Spencer and I have been really trying to be super healthy. So that means I am keeping track of my calories and I am making sure that I do not overeat, which I have a tendency to do. But at the same time, I do want to eat very yummy, delicious, savory foods. And so in this video, you will see what one of these days looks like. So I already managed to eat a grapefruit, which was delicious. I just drank it kind of as a smoothie. I blended it in my Nutri Blender with some Truvia and then I just drank it. So I've already downed one of these babies. So that's one grapefruit down the hatch. And now we are going to be making protein pancakes because we woke up with a craving for some pancakes um, because we have been having eggs and whatnot the past couple of days. So we were kind of craving something sweet, especially me, I woke up and I'm just like, I need some kind of indulgence. So. I'm going to be making a healthy version, which is protein pancakes. So they're really easy to make, very few ingredients, and let's get to it. So like I said, this is a super easy recipe. All you need is protein. This is just whey vanilla protein. It has 27 grams per scoop. And I'm going to be using two scoops because I am going to be feeding two human beings, Spencer and I, which eats an abnormal amount of food. So two scoops of protein down the hatch. Done. And I just mix everything in my little Nutri bullet because it's easy to clean. Um, I'm going to add a little packet of Truvia just because I like it extra sweet. And then we have a little bit of oatmeal or oats. This is just to help kind of keep um, the pancakes together. And I just kind of estimate, I usually just put like a little handful, not a lot. You need a handy dandy banana. The riper the banana, the better actually. So if you have any of those brown yucky bananas laying around, definitely use those. Our banana into the oatmeal. And then last but not least, we are using eggs. So I just have three eggs here. I think that should be enough for this ratio. I think I might actually use four eggs because I use two scoops. I usually like to use two eggs per scoop of protein. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So four eggs. There we go. And we are ready to blend our pancakes. I just need to wash my hands. <laughs> protein shake, essentially protein pancake shake batter mixed. We are gonna start cooking and I like to cook it on uh, this virgin coconut oil. This is just from Trader Joe's and it helps keep the pancakes nice and sweet with a little coconut smell. So all I do is just put a little bit on our pan. Get down, get down on there. I just wanna grease the pan with it. But you need to cook on something and this is a really healthy alternative to regular butter or oils. And then all we do, once the pan is heated, we just pour some of this batter on here. And make a pancake. I'm gonna let it cook on one side till you start seeing these little bubbles and when you feel that there are enough bubbles that have bubbled out, then you can flip it for like another 30 seconds or so and then your pancake is done. So that's pretty simple, huh? So our pancake's ready to flip. We flip it and now we let it finish cooking, but they're gonna be yummy, fluffy, delicious banana protein pancakes. What has it been? No, that smelled good, I was gonna say. Oh. <laughs> They smell amazing. <laughs> and they smell so good right now. <laughs> Spencer's over there pointing at my nose, so I thought I had something. Oh, I got something on my nose? 
I have something on my nose? Taste that. Yeah, that's pretty good. While pancakes are cooking. <laughs> you want this? Tell me. Tell me. You want it? Tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk. No sneeze? Is that your cue? <laughs> is, is sneezing is this cue? I don't know. It is. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Ah, oh, there we go. Good boy. <laughs> That's a new trick Spencer just taught him, which could turn out badly, but so far it's doing okay. Spencer's over here on strawberry duties. I'm gonna put those on our protein pancakes, keeping it healthy. I told them we're trying to lose some LBs, get into fight, fighting shape. How do you feel about that? I feel great. <laughs> wonderful. I can't wait to go camping. <laughs> What's camping have to do with this? Camping. Feel healthy, healthy <laughs> lifestyle, a little camping, a little outdoorsy. All right. Different things to do. Strawberries looking bomb. So guys, breakfast is served. We have these delicious protein pancakes, which are so easy to make. We're gonna be eating them with some strawberries and probably some honey, maybe some peanut butter. Who knows? Jam if we had some, but this is exactly what we were craving this morning and now we have it. So a yummy breakfast doesn't have to be so difficult. You can have your pancakes while you're on a diet too. And look at these, they look so bomb. Yum, yum, yum. Put your seat back on. So we just got done with the gym and now I'm being forced to drink this. Lately, I've really hated these protein drinks, but they're only 170 calories and there's 35 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. So this is what we drink right after the gym. I'm, and trying, to, I'm trying to get my <laughs> wife to have thicker thighs in a Dicker booty. So, so I need to drink and eat more protein for that to happen. So he's been feeding me these. But lately, for some reason, I've been really grossed out by them. I don't know. After a certain point, I just don't want anymore. It's just the only way that I can easily trap her, like right there in the moment. Like, <laughs> drink your protein. Get your gains. Yeah. So after the gym, we're having this. And yeah, that's what I'm eating now. But yeah. But it is very good for you, and it is a good, cheap protein shake alternative than yeah, spending like, $8 like two, on Earth Bar or I think something. it's like $2.29 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. We just get them at Trader Joe's. Super easy. You can throw it in your bag and have it on the go. So that's why we have these, because we're always on the go. <laughs> about to start cooking some dinner, but as a snack, I'm about to have some almonds and walnuts and these are so good they're a healthy source of fat and protein and they're filling so it's perfect for when you're feeling really hungry but you don't want to have a big meal next snack string cheese because cheese is the jam and i love cheese about to go take onyx for a walk so i'm gonna eat this while we walk him Okay, so for dinner, we are going to be having pasta. Yes, we are having pasta. And that is because we are going to be having brown rice quinoa spaghetti pasta, which is really awesome. It has five grams of protein per serving, which is awesome. It's also high in fiber and other nutritious thingies, so it's really healthy carbs. So yes, we can have pasta when we're dieting, which is awesome. And I'm also gonna just make a fresh tomato and garlic pasta sauce for it, and it's gonna be delicious. I have Spencer on garlic duty. <laughs> Cause that's the one thing I hate doing, peeling garlics, but he loves garlic, so he is our designated garlic peeler. I also find it very therapeutic. 
So, hey, if he loves it, I will surely cook with it. So while the water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my little baby cherry tomatoes and start making the sauce. I just like to chop them up into tiny pieces. And I like using cherry tomatoes because they're very flavorful and yummy. dump our tomatoes in our pan to start simmering them and making the sauce. I'm going to add some garlic, salt, and pepper, and we should be ready to rock and roll. And in the meantime, I'm going to start cooking the shrimp and the tofu. That's going to be our protein source for this meal. The water's almost boiled so I can start cooking the noodles. Just going to chop up our tofu into little cubes. Here we go, tofu. Put it on another pan. Water's boiling. So our shrimp are almost done. They cook super fast, just a couple minutes on each side. Our sauce is also ready, looking so yummy. Our noodles are almost done. And then basically, all we're gonna do is dump it all in here in the sauce, mix it up, and our pasta dinner is ready to rock and roll. So now I'm just dumping the noodles and the shrimp into our lovely sauce. And I am also dumping our tofu that was graciously prepared earlier. And now I am just mixing it all up so that it gets saucy. Making it saucy, real saucy. Parmesan cheesy. Mm -hmm which sprinkle as much as you like. I obviously like a lot of cheese because I love cheese. And we have this handy dandy basil tree for lovely toppers. Our pasta is done, ladies and gentlemen. Voila, dinner is served. Who wants a bite? Oh, this thing is so heavy. Here we go. Our pasta is served and ready to enjoy. Yum, yum, yum. Now, as an after dinner snack, I'm having this no sugar yellow cling, yellow cling, yeah, yellow cling diced peaches. And this is the one with no sugar, so that's good. But I was really craving something. I'm probably gonna start craving something else too, because this is what I'm having for now. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day video. All of the recipes I showed you are on the naughtier side, but they're also really healthy. And I'm just trying to show you guys that dieting doesn't have to be a horrible, dreadful thing. Even though we see it that way, you can still cook really yummy meals and a lot of them are really easy to make. So let me know if you guys try out any of these recipes and let me know if you guys like this video. I hope I inspire you in some type of way on your fitness journey and on your wellness journey. I too find it very difficult sometimes and it is a commitment and it's hard to stay motivated. That's why I do like to have days like this where we eat really yummy food so it doesn't feel like we're on a diet. <laughs> Who's with me there? I think everybody is. But Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos. That's it guys, farewell. I will see you next time. Bye bye.
kidding, I need to get my phone out of here. Oh, <laughs>